Hello everyone. Now, when we think about weeds, we think about things that grow in flower beds, grow in people's yards, and they don't want them there. They get rid of them. And they spray, and they, and they pick out the, the weeds out of the beds for days, and they always come back, and it turns out, and instead of picking them, and tossing them in the, in the, in the compost, or whatever it may be, there are actually a lot of things that are edible and taste pretty good. So this is called south thistle. Alright, this is something you're going to want to boil down. And once you identify it, you're going to see it everywhere like a car. Once you have a, a certain make, you start seeing it everywhere once you get familiar with it. Now, I'm showing you these leaves because this is basically what you're going to look for is, is the shape on the leaf here. Okay, you see how this smaller leaf uh, is more oval shaped? Well, that's because it's a baby leaf, and it starts to get this uh, crinkle to it uh, with deeper uh, edges on each side of it, and that's really what shape you're going to be looking for. And once you see it, with these little spines, and now that's why you have to boil it, because these will get you, but if you find one that's big, and I don't have a really big one here, uh, you can actually just, well here, this one's a good size, you can actually just go along the side of it, go ahead and pick off these spines. Try and do it for you here. And now with a bigger leaf, obviously you're going to have more to eat. And it tastes just like a dandelion. If you've ever eaten a dandelion, they actually do grow pretty big. South thistle. Dandelions, I'm in Florida here. Dandelions don't grow very well for some reason. They only get, uh, I don't know, a half a foot in length. Less than that. Uh, maybe four or five inches at, at best. The leaves uh, don't get very big. All right, now you can see that I've taken all the spines off, and on a bigger leaf you'd have more to eat, obviously, but you can go ahead and put that in a salad. Uh, it is related to a dandelion, and uh, it tastes uh, about the same, sweet and bitter. Uh, I would recommend giving it a wash if you get a lot of leaves and, and you want to make a nice salad out of it. And uh, But actually, if you just pick it off the ground and, and put it in your mouth, what you're doing is you're basically consuming the bacteria that is in your area. Now you might be thinking you don't want to be eating bacteria and, and uh, nasties. Well, well, what this does is it, it actually boosts your immune, immune system, excuse me, immune system, and uh, just like taking a flu shot, you know, you're, you're introducing just a little bit of that bacteria into your system so that you can figure out exactly what it is and your body can start to fight it off. And that's uh, it's basically a free medicinal use out of anything really edible, is to be able to boost your immune system. And that's always a, a definite, bo definite bonus. Here, so I'm going to taste it and tell you what this one tastes like. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit more bitter. Um, you can find them a bit sweeter and a they all taste a little, they're either sweet and bitter, or mostly bitter, and that one's, that one's kind of bitter. But, uh, the younger leaves are going to be a bit sweeter. And the older ones, I guess, are obviously, uh, had more time to, uh, get that sharp flavor. Okay, now this is South Thistle. And you can tell, once you start looking for it, you're going to see it everywhere. Okay, it's, it's, got a good, it's got a good dark green color to it. And then on the, on the bottom of the leaf, you're going notice to it, notice it has this kind of uh, pasty white color. And uh, has that on every leaf. And then when you break it, you'll see, if I can show you here, 
that there is going to be a little bit of a milky kind of sap that comes out uh, if it's a larger stem, if you break it on a larger stem, but uh, basically once you know what you're looking for is this uh, long stem on each leaf in the middle, the tapered edges, uh, the spikes obviously, and, the, and to the touch they don't hurt you, okay? But you don't want to be eating them and have too many of them in your mouth trying to swallow those, those spikes. Um, looking for that darker green color on the top and that white pasty color on the bottom of the leaf. Okay. Now on the stem, another identifying factor is that the leaf will actually curl around the stem. I don't know if you can see that right there where my finger is. This leaf actually curls around the stem. So once you see that, again, you'll start to see it everywhere. Because if there's one, there are a lot more of them. And uh, again, very good. Tastes like a dandelion if you've ever had it. Uh, my uncle actually told me that up in, the, up in the northern states, I've never been there, but uh, dandelions are actually sold and eaten in salads. Here's a dandelion right here. And uh, he also told me that they used to use the flowers and batter up, batter them up, fry them, make fritters, and uh, told me they were pretty good. So, you know, it might, it might surprise you what's, what's out there and just in your backyard. All right. Well, I hope that was entertaining and hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you next time.